Hello, peeps. Great. Today I'm going to show you this UPS van. A lot of people have been asking me about it and stuff. So, uh, I first seen one of these a couple of months ago at a meet I went to. Um, and decided I wanted one. Uh, now they seem to be popping up all over the place. Uh, it was available from Smith's Toys. I think they were... Um, Forty pound, yeah, forty pound each, uh, and they come like this out the box with its own little controller, but it's a bit, it's a bit crap to be honest. So I went about and converted this with uh, it's got a um, three three nine digital servo for the steering. I put a ten eighty ESC hooked up to the original motor gearbox um, and then I added side marker lights and I did add some at the top here but the closing doors broke them so I, I need to redo them so um, I've just not got my mirrors on so I'm not sure where they are I think they're in the box somewhere but basically that's it so it comes with you get a crate and you get a few different sizes of the UPS boxes, but you only get 10, a mixture of 10. So I didn't really fill all the shelves up inside, which is what I wanted to do. So we ended up making a load of boxes myself and he had all these inside. Um, but since then, a few other people who I know who've, who've done different conversions have given me their boxes. Uh, so at the moment i think i've got 30 ups boxes in the back of here and i've still got another 10 to put in but it is pretty full in here now on both sides so if i just show you this so I'll put the esc oh i managed to fit a full size 4000 nin in there which slides right up to the front about here it's a bit of a tight fit but it does go in and then that's the on off switch there for the for turn it on off so and then I've wired it up to a fly sky and I think I flip this switch the lights come on so I've got the I need to, as I said I need to redo these lights and the headlights at the front and then I also added two extra lights at the back and then inside I added a strip light so it all lights up like so so you can see all the shelves are full. We've got a couple of Walker's crisp packets in there as well. All the, all the shelves are full. Um, so I'll just tidy that up, put that in there. And then what I did was put the crates inside. I put two crates in. And I can get one of these pallets in as well. And then just to stop them falling out while I'm driving around the layouts you get these so that'll fit inside there clip into place like so and then that stops that stops them falling out and then for the driver He's a brooder figure. But to get him to fit, I have to chop his right leg off. Well, or chop his right foot off. But you can still see his left foot through this window. So you can't tell he's an amputee. Um, but these are so much better now you've got full proportional control. Whereas before it was all or nothing, and the same with the throttle, it was all or nothing. Whereas now you can just cruise along at your own speed. Like so. So, that's the UPS van. I'll throw up some little videos of it flying around pretty cool and then they ended up buying another one 
and I converted that into converted that one into a swap truck so I'll do another little video on that one in a sec and here's the swap van so just basically give it a good prepping sanded it down painted it black and give it um said about six coats of clear so it's nice and shiny and uh picks up the fingerprints pretty easy so i try not to handle it too much um like i said 40 pound from smith's toys and then beacons alone on top were um 75 quid each but these are not these are, are decent beacons these have got 14 different sequences and they are a lot more, a lot better than just the cheap nasty 10 pound beacons so we'll go and turn this one on I did the same with the marker lights on this one but I actually used different ones different techniques for this one uh, got the clear lights at the front but we've got yellow bulbs in Um, and I smoked the lights on the front of these ones and I smoked the lights on the back as well it's not got the step on this one I've not put it on just fell off somewhere so I turn the lights on with this this one so I've got the lights on in there side lights and a little doggy in there and then for the driver on this one I didn't use if you can see them very well. I didn't use a brooder on this one. I used um, they're a little bit smaller than brooder. I think they're called Chap May, M A M A I, Chap May, or whatever they're called, Chap May. Uh, I managed to get a few of them off eBay, so no amputations required for him to fit in there. That's a brooder police dog. And then in the back, I set it up like a, a surveillance. So I can see in there we've got a guy on the end on his computer, a couple of laptops in the middle there, um, a couple of storage boxes, you can see the PC there and a couple of boxes, storage at the top and then behind, I just move these chaps forward, you can see behind these guys here, oh, just moving forward. Oh, he's actually come unglued, I'll have to glue him back in. So they're the kind of figures that I've put inside the swap figures. Um, but you can see inside, the behind them, I loaded it up with a load of the guns that come with these chap figures. So I'm quite impressed with that. Um, and I just, I wanted an American siren really with it being swapped, but just had to make do with a GT, uh, GT system. So and just and flick the switch to turn the lights off, and, and the switch to turn the beacons off, and then if I just flick it quickly. It will change sequence. So there we go. There are the UPS trucks that are popping up all over the place and it's good to see that people are doing different things with them. This has gone down a quite a storm. The number I used on the top, 7928, on your telephone keypad, that would spell SWAT. And again, this is just the same ESC on the same servo. So, 
so I'll post I'll post a few pictures and um, of these in action as well, and then. I think the Aveco is a little bit too big, it needs to be a bit smaller, but overall, I'm quite chuffed with the way that this one's turned out. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, whatever. There'll be more content coming on future builds, um, posting other stuff of my RCs over the past few years that I've not had a chance to share with anybody. So, there we go.